And of course, good luck to everybody who's running the marathon. Absolutely. You've got some lovely pictures today, Jules, haven't you? I have, Susie. Something a bit special. This train on the Colne Valley Railway was arriving to, to pick up 12-year-old Rhys Martin. Now, Rhys has a life-threatening condition called Allport Syndrome, and he's always wanted to travel in the engine of a train. And finally, thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, that dream has come true. And Rhys, it looks like you had an absolutely fantastic time. Brilliant. Now today it has been rather disappointing weather-wise. We've had a lot of cloud around. It has felt quite chilly in the wind. But there is a little bit of late uh, brightness out there at the moment, but not for everybody. But I think overnight the clear spells will become more widespread, although some of us will hold on to a fair amount of cloud. But under these clear skies I think we'll see the temperatures falling away, down to around 2 or 3 degrees Celsius. So I think away from the coast with the, the winds becoming a lighter northeasterly, I think we will see a ground frost. Now tomorrow, it looks like this high pressure building in, but still quite a lot of uh, cloud caught up in its circulation. So I think the better chance of seeing a little bit of brightness and sunshine with some breaks in the cloud, but I think at times it will be on the cloudy side for many of us. So uh, a bit more brightness and sunshine compared with today, but still quite a lot of cloud around. But it should feel a touch warmer tomorrow with temperatures around 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 Fahrenheit, and uh, a lighter northeasterly wind although those winds probably staying moderate in strength around the coast. So that's Wednesday. Thursday, a very similar day, although I think we will see the winds round to the northwest and temperatures slightly higher, up to around 16 degrees Celsius, which takes us into the low 60s Fahrenheit. And then the Easter bank holiday. This is how Friday, Saturday and Sunday stand at the moment. Fine and dry with some decent sunny spells, although fog could become a problem during the overnight period and first thing in the morning. But once that's cleared, it should be fine and dry. And by Sunday, it should feel very nice indeed in the sunshine with the winds round to the southwest and highs of 17 degrees Celsius, which is 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the weekend, hopefully, we should have lost the really cold and frosty nights too. That's the forecast. See you tomorrow. Almost tropical. You'll be able to put your shorts on for the weekend, <laughs> will you? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all from us for this evening. Bye -bye. Goodbye. <laughs>